right wingers prove time and time again that they actually don't understand the Constitution, nor have they read any part of it. Otherwise, they would understand what the power AVP has. For your vote, we would not have Joe Biden in the White House. Right. Joe Biden shouldn't be there. And all those wonderful things that you and Trump were doing together would be continuing, and this country would be on the right path. Do you ever second-guess yourself? That was a constitutional right that you had to send those votes back to the states. It was not like you were going to personally elect him. We all... But Mike Pence didn't have that ability. The power of a VP is just to be a tiebreaker when there is a tie for a bill. No, by the number of votes that were there, who won that election? Well, you let me changed speak to that history issue. for this country. Yeah, let me let me speak to the issue because I think it's it's an issue that continues to be misunderstood. But I know by God's grace I did exactly what the Constitution of the United States required of me that day. I kept my own. Let me be very respectful of the question and tell you. Look, states conduct our elections. You never want to let Washington, D.C. run elections. You certainly would never want one person in Washington, D.C. to decide who the President of the United States is. You weren't deciding. You were just sending it back to the states. Ma'am, here, let me explain it to you. States conduct elections. Iowa, or I live in Indiana. And after there were questions in a half a dozen or so states, we had, elect we had reviews of the results, 60 different lawsuits that went to the courts. Where there are questions, there's two ways that they're reviewed. Number one is you take those issues to the legal process in the state for recount. Okay? Secondly, you take them to the courts, which we did very aggressively. Now, there were voting irregularities that took place. You had a half a dozen states that changed the rules in the name of COVID, but the courts upheld those changes in virtually every instance and in every instance where they would have had any impact whatsoever. <clears throat> At the end of the day, when Iowa certified your results and sent them to Washington, D.C., when Indiana certified our results, the Constitution of the United States in Article 2 says the job of the Vice President is to serve as the presiding officer of a joint session where you open and count the vote. Don't take my word for it. Go read the Constitution. Not really. I say this with great affection and respect. I'm glad at, you know, being how crazy Mike Pence is, you know, being highly religious, at least he's, he took the time to actually understand the Constitution and what his abilities are instead of all the other right-wingers who think that the VP can do whatever they want, just like how they think the president, especially a right-wing president, can do whatever they want. The Constitution is very clear. My job was to oversee a session of Congress where objections could be heard, and I made sure that objections would be recognized. So we would hear whatever evidence or the debate there was, but the Constitution says you open and count the votes, no more, no less. The Constitution affords no authority for the Vice President or anyone else to reject votes or return votes to the states. Never been done before, should never be done in the future. I'm sorry, ma'am, but that's actually what the Constitution says. No Vice President in American history ever asserted the authority that you have been convinced that I had. But I want to tell you, with all due respect, I said before, I said when I announced President Trump was wrong about my authority that day, and he's still wrong. I believe it with all my heart. It's just hilarious how so many of the right-wing base have no understanding of the Constitution while claiming to be all about uh, following the Constitution to a T. They truly don't care and only use the claims of the Constitution when it benefits them or they think it benefits them.